The tool tabs in Capture One are really great. There are two sections to the tool tabs, the pinned area, which is at the top, and the scrollable area, which is below at the bottom. Now, you can have everything in the pinned area, everything in the scroll area, or what's really great is that you can set up tools to be in the pinned area and tools to be in the scrollable area. I'm gonna show you the difference between the two and why I like to use a combination of both. So over here in Capture One, I have set up three tool tabs. In tab number one, all the tools are in the pinned area. In tab number two, all the tools are in the scrollable area. And in tab number three, I have two tools, the histogram and the layers in the pinned area and the rest in the scrollable area. And you can see there's a delineation here by a thick line. Now I can open all the tools by clicking this down arrow or I can click on the title or I can click in the blank area of the title bar of each tool. So as I start to open them, you'll see they start to get bigger and bigger. And then at some point I'm going to open a tool that causes another tool to collapse. Because this is not scrollable, it is all pinned. If I continue to open tools, you'll see layers has now collapsed. If I open sharpening, exposure will collapse. Capture One keeps track of the order in which you opened the tools, and then it starts to close them as they are no longer fitting in the pinned area. So all of these tools are in the pinned area, and you can see as I close those, it started to open the tools that were automatically closed. So I can go ahead and close all of these. These are all in the pinned area. So as I start to open them now, so you see I'll hit exposure, and then sharpening at the bottom closed. If you are opening your tools in a random order, they are going to close not in a random order, they're going to close in the sequence in which Capture One remembers that you had opened them, and it may seem random to you because you were clicking randomly, but Capture One knows the order in which you were opening and closing those tools, and so it will go back and undo the opening and closing automatically for you. If you like your tools to not go beyond the entire height of the tool tab, then you could put all of your tools in the pinned area. Moving to tool tab number two, all of our tools are in the scrollable area. So as I start to click the tools open, they will continue to open and then black and white will take us beyond the height, and now the scroll bar has appeared. And in order to get down to sharpening, we're going to scroll down, and then we can click it. So now all of the tools scroll. And they can all be opened, and they can all scroll. Now in tool tab number three, I have the histogram and the layers tool in the pinned area. I have sharpening, black and white color editor levels, clarity, high dynamic range, and exposure in the scrollable area. So as I scroll these tools, histogram and layers are not moving, but the other tools are. If I close this, it's going to shrink the pinned area, and that means the scrollable area doesn't need to scroll. If I close histogram, same. So when I open the layers tool, the pinned area is gonna expand and push the scrollable area further down the screen. What you can do is in the scrollable area, you will see you can move a tool to the pinned area. And now that line moved down and the exposure as I'm scrolling no longer moves. If I click the three buttons again and I move it to the scrollable area, it's gonna move it to the bottom automatically. But I want that back in the same order it was and so I just drag it back up to the top of the scrollable area. Likewise, I could also just take this tool and I could drag it up into the pinned area. And now it's pinned, you can see, and I can also just bring it right back down to the scrollable area. In the pinned area, with some tools, you can set the size, right? Now I have layers set to small, I could set it to medium, and I could set it to large. This makes the pinned area expand and pushes the scrollable area further down your screen. So you now have a smaller window for the scrollable tools, but they are scrollable so you can move up and down. I'm gonna make that small again and I can close that. But if I have a tool like the color editor and I drag this up 
into the pinned area. Because the color editor doesn't have an adjustable size, it will adjust as you select the different tools. So if I hit advanced, the tool naturally expands. If I hit skin tone, the tool gets a little smaller. So the pinned area will adjust with the tool as the tool needs to change. So that's it. That's how the tool tab works. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit like. If you're a photographer and you're interested in learning more about Capture One and photography and what it takes to run a studio and a photography business, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.